Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be having a quick look at these tinted charcoals by Derwent. Um, the reason I got them was I saw a little advert that Derwent had put on Instagram the other day for some other pencils of theirs and I went onto the website and had a look. And this little set, it had some really nice colours in it, but I really like drawing with charcoal. And when I draw with charcoal sticks, willow sticks, I'm always snapping them. So the idea of having them in a pencil is great. Um, and like I say, it was a really nice mix of colours. So I just thought I would treat myself to this little tin of 12. So they've just arrived this morning. And I'll first of all, I'll read out what it says on the back of the tin here. So it says, Derwent charcoal pencils are wonderfully expressive pencils which offer the dramatic beauty of traditional charcoal with a gentle hint of colour. Combining natural charcoal particles with the finest clays, these pencils can be sharpened to a point, yet smudge and blend easily to produce deep, rich tones. Available in 24 shades, including white for highlighting. So, another reason I got them was, I do struggle a little bit with asthma on my chest, and the, I was hoping they wouldn't create as much powder as an ordinary charcoal. I absolutely love the effect of charcoal, I love the look of it, and I love working with it but it does sometimes bother my chest, so I thought these might be a little bit easier. So we'll have a look at the colours now, if I can get the tape off. Oh, it's got a cover on all the way around, so let's just... So it's taped to either side and then it's covered in plastic as well, so we'll try and get that off. So the other reason I wanted to use Derwent um, rather than anything else as well is it's nice to use as local as we can and I like using British made things. So I think we'll just go through the colours one at a time and have a look at them. So it says there's 24 and I've bought the 12 set. So this first one is Sand. You can see there there is some quite a bit of powder coming off but let's see how they blend so they blend quite nicely and that's a nice colour a bit like an ochre really and this one is glowing embers and then we go to lavender so slightly more blue in that one pink looking might not pick it up with the um, camera I'm not sure let's have a look at this one mountain blue that's a nice blue green ocean deep so presumably be a lot deeper blue darker green moss so, so far we've got a lot of quite subtle colours that would do for landscapes. Dark moss. Driftwood. So they've got nice names. So it looks almost black actually that one, but um, you would think it would be called driftwood. You'd think it would be more brown, but it looks very black. Peat, presumably a brown one, dark brown. Not much difference in those, that's quite a lot warmer, the peat one. Natural, which is a sort of a slate grey colour. And then the white, so obviously this isn't going to show up much on the paper let's just try and put it over some of these darker ones and see how it does so yeah you can see how you'd be able to blend that in to lighten lighten those up and i'm assuming this one's black oh it just says dark it doesn't call it black it calls it dark whoops that's where the white was and yes it is much darker than the one that i was calling black before so that driftwood one's obviously a dark brown 
um, but it's not as dark, it's darker really on the page than it uh, would indicate on there. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do now, oh, first of all, it actually says, although it doesn't say this on the tin anywhere, um, it did say on the website that these were water soluble. So now that I've got a touch of each colour and I'm also going to add a bit of water to each colour and see, just with a damp brush, see if they are water soluble and how they react with the water. So they're not going to move around too much, but I do like using water with charcoal. I use my Derwent ink tents with charcoal quite a bit, so perhaps we'll have a go at using these with the ink tents as well. And I do like this effect we're getting there. You can imagine using some of these for trees and skies with a touch of water on them to make some clouds, cloudy effects and some distant effects. rinsing it out in between so that we don't mix the colours too much. Now on the reviews on the internet when I was buying them a lot of people's complaint was the fact that the dark colours were too similar that they couldn't distinguish between them but I, I don't actually think that's the case I think they are you can distinguish between them we've got a very obvious black there a very subtle grey and then these two browns um, this one's perhaps not as useful as the other three, but I still think we've got distinct colours there and a good range that we might need for a landscape. So what I'm going to do now, I'll carry on and do a little picture just underneath here, something tiny just to give them a try out. Um, but I won't talk whilst I'm doing that, I'll perhaps put some music on for you and then maybe come back at the end and see what we think about it.
okay so as you can see I just did a very quick little sketch there of a tree out of the window and actually this um, little set of colours has some really great colours in I don't think I used every one but I used quite a few of them um, really great colours in for British landscapes especially at this time of year I think it's got those wintry colours using that nice grey I think we set off with the natural one it calls it natural but it's a grey made a really wintry overcast sky and just adding that little touch of water to it gave us a bit of distance so of course you can use it both ways either with the water or without um, and then you can come back and sketch more on top and you can blend so I would definitely recommend these for the mix of colours that you get but I won't just use them in landscapes I, I do like drawing um, faces with charcoal as well so I'll use those to do some portraits as well so I would definitely recommend them if you were fancy in buying them um, and I have to say um, this video isn't sponsored at all I've just bought these for myself to see what they were like so and you look if you look at the picture on the tin front here um, it's, I've blended mine quite a lot with water and things and there they haven't they've done a much more controlled drawing so whatever your style is you could use them in different ways but of course you could blend them like this and then come back and put some more detail on the top with the, the pencils afterwards so obviously we'll have to um, spend a little time with them see how they go on when they need sharpening uh, and see how they work with the other things that I've got like I say I think I'll perhaps try and have a go with them with the Derwent ink tents as well and try and mix those two things together so for now um, I'm going to enjoy using these and I'll have a probably come back another day and do something else in them but just for this little sketch I really like them there's most of the colours in there of those 12 colours and I think it's worked really well for a little English landscape okay so thank you very much for joining me if you have these pencils already if you want to let the rest of us know what you think about them you can put that in the comments below um, other than that bye for now and I look forward to seeing you again soon bye bye